Hi, I'm Cam Simmons, and this is Cam's Christmas Cracker. And if you'll excuse the pun, which you should because it's Christmas Day, we've got an absolute cracker of a show for you. We'll be learning about different Christmas traditions from around the globe, and we've got an actual interview with Santa Claus himself. And we've got a competition, the corniest Christmas cards. And just like a cracker, who knows when this show is going to explode with goodness. So stay tuned and let's get to it. First up, let's take a look at how Christmas is celebrated around the world. In Hawaii, Santa Claus's sleigh and reindeer have been replaced by outrigger canoe pulled by dolphins. He even wears a Hawaiian shirt. Chinese kids may get a visit from Dwin Cha Lao Run, which means Christmas old man, and they decorate their houses with paper lanterns. Christmas gifts come early in Germany. Children leave a boot outside the door on the night of December the 5th, and St Nicholas fills it with treats, if they've been good. Rio de Janeiro has a Christmas tree 80 metres tall, built on a floating platform in the middle of a lagoon. It's awesome for fireworks. In Pakistan, the 25th of December is a public holiday to honour the birth of someone, but not Jesus, Jina, Muhammad Ali Jina, the founder of Pakistan. St Nicholas arrives in November in the Netherlands. He is dressed in bishop's robes and journeys in a boat with his helper, Black Pete, who wears Spanish clothes, since, as everyone knows, St Nicholas lives in Spain. Jerusalem can host three Christmas traditions, one for Protestants and Catholics, one for Greek Orthodox and Egyptian, and another for the Armenians. Services for each of these are sometimes all going at the same time in the same church. At Cam's Christmas Cracker, it's not all about me, it's also about you. So I sent my friend Alyssa out to hear what you have to say. What does Christmas mean to you? Well, it's a religious occasion. Lots of food, lots of drink, having fun with the family and a holiday. And what does Christmas mean to you? Um, family. Fun. That's just fun. I see it as a, um, you know, get together of family and it's a celebration of what we have sort of thing. Well, to get together with all the family, of course, yeah. To me personally, it doesn't mean a lot. Family, just having family around, really. Bringing the families together. Happy time with the family, with friends. Angel literally means messenger. In the Christmas story, angels were messengers from God announcing the coming of Jesus, which is why so many Christmas trees have an angel on top. It's Christmas. Too much food you can't resist, miss. Shopping so good you can't desist, miss. With Santa Claus and St. Nicholas and Father Christmas all bumbling around in red suits and white beards, tripping over mangers and Marys and baby Jesuses. Oh yeah, happy birthday, Jesus. Bring the dips and cheeses. Lots of hugs and squeezes. Need more room in our chock-a-block freezers. That's Christmas. It's carols by candlelight and ringtones by smartphone. There's the virgin birth and the star of Bethlehem, or is it virgin blue and the star of Australia's God Talent? There's Jesus in the manger, Santa in the mall, angels in the sky, and reindeers in the summer sun. What a crazy time this Christmas is. It's Yule Tide. For some, a refuel, no school, totally cool tide. But for others, it's a low tide. They're so tired. It's more busy than blessed, it's more frantic than festive. It's Christmas, when lost loved ones are most missed, miss. When drunken family feuds are settled with the fist, miss. That's Christmas for some. Yes, Christmas is a cracker. Sometimes it blows up in your face with nothing but cheap trinkets and lame jokes. But other times, it pops at the perfect moment, showering you with so much joy and delight that your heart glows with the light of a thousand Christmas stars. Coming up after the break, what are the best and worst presents you've ever received, plus an exclusive interview with Santa Claus. Don't go away. 